Hi guys and welcome to my channel Renee Readings. Okay, so I've already shuffled um, because this takes a long time for me to channel and then to get the cards out and it takes longer to upload. I don't want to bore you. So here are the cards. Um, Twinnies, you guys were the highest views on last week's reads or was it Wednesday's reads? So, right, let's look into the Divine Masculine's energy right so his side is there your side is there mutual energy his intentions <clears throat> blocks and the outcome <coughs> an overall energy one minute sorry <coughs> all of a sudden i started to cough now <clears throat> maybe you guys are not talking he wants to talk to you but pulls back maybe fear of rejection Unable to communicate, definitely blocks in communication. Now, right, so let's start off. Divine Masculine's thoughts for his Divine Feminine. Two of Cups, so he knows this is a spiritual connection. He knows there's balance, he knows there's love, there's mutual attraction, joy, partnership, all that, yeah? When he thinks about you, he thinks about how much you love him, how much you've been there for him, um, the mutual love between you guys. And he knows he's not going to get this from anywhere else. Yeah, maybe you, the divine feminines, were a little bit more in your high priestess energy. You recognize this connection for what it was or is, and they had to catch up. Well, they have caught up now. They do understand what this connection is. <clears throat> However, next to the Two of Cups, I have got the Page of Swords in reverse. So there is no action. So they, when they think about this connection, they know what it means, everything else. However, are they doing anything about it? No. Right, how do they feel about you? Well, there's obviously a separation between you guys, or you're just not talking as much as you used to. Um, how they feel... They know you have other options. They, could, they can feel you moving on and they know it. They're jealous. They don't want to admit defeat. Um, but yeah, they're up in their heads, definitely. With this sword's energy, they know you're moving on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> interesting. It's five here and a five there. Five speaks of change. So... They do want this to change. Now, I've got the Five of Swords here with the Five of Pentacles. So, they are suffering. They now feel, when they, when they, um, when they feel about you, what's in their heart, they're feeling left out now. Now, they're suffering. They're thinking, what? You left me out in the cold. Well, they got the taste of their own medicine. That's for sure. Good. <laughs> Right, so <clears throat> how do they see you? They still see um, potential with you. I mean, they have got other options and they know you have other options, but the way they see you, they still do want to build on, build something together with you. They are still focused. So how they see you, <sighs> they know you have other options and they know that they have really have messed this up, yeah. And they see you now focused, doing your, you doing you, and you're determined to be happy regardless. You're progressing in many fields in your life. Um, but amongst all that, they still they still know that you still want them, that you would still would want to build together with them. Um, however. The challenge really is, um, do you, they see you that you've left, um, they have left a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. They know they've let you down. Self-limited beliefs, yeah. They just, like, you, the way you see them now is, well, I don't know if I trust you. And they know it. They know it from their actions. Right. <clears throat> Divine Feminines, your side, what are your thoughts? These are your thoughts regards to your Divine Masculine. 
you have walked away, but you've walked away in a way where you're still looking back. You're, there's still a lot of indecision. Should you try again? Should you reach out? But were you the one that was doing all the chasing while they were running, entertaining hoes? Um, so for you, you're thinking, well, when you think about him, you're thinking, well, I don't know, because all logic says no. The heart says this, you still love him. Your soul still says, well, you're all always going to be connected because you're one soul. Um, because you're very um, attached still with them. But still, slowly, slowly, as you're moving on with your own life, you're becoming less attached. And now you're starting to feel... You're, when, you're think, when you think about your Divine Masculine, you're actually now starting to see him for what he really is. A player, a fuckboy, who didn't fight for you, didn't have the courage, didn't sort himself out, didn't come for you, didn't put it right, left you... Um, just left his options open and you were one of the options and just didn't do right by you. And this is a divine connection, but he let you both down. Yeah, the more you think about him, the more you think, you fucking bastard, you fucking hurt me, you broke my heart, but do you know what, I didn't deserve it. You're a piece of shit. Because <laughs> they're operating on low energy, on ego, on pride, on stubbornness, on hoes, on, you know, good times and not, not nurturing you at all, all this connection. Right, how you feel about them. You're ready to cut them off and you're ready to say your piece, yeah. Um, when, when it comes to your feelings now towards them, you're using your head over your heart. You've, you've set firm, healthy boundaries. Um, anytime they do reach out, or if there were to reach out, you would have direct communication with them now. Um, and whereas before you were juggling, maybe juggling the idea, um, like, how could this work? If you, if you guys live at a distance, or if there's distance between you, how could this happen? If one has kids or doesn't, you know, when you before you were juggling because you would have made it work because this is all you wanted but now you're like do you know what mm, nice no, this is all too disorganized for me uh, i'm not over committing to anything i'm not stressing myself out i'm not juggling anything um you're doing like i said you're doing you yes you do still love them yes you do um but until that isn't shared and expressed equally, you're keeping it to yourself. Yeah, you're keeping it to yourself. Now, you're keeping it to yourself because until they don't let go of ego, until they're not awoken completely to this connection, you're not going to entertain this chaos because this connection has given you nothing but deception, misery, sleepless nights, because it was built on a, um, a weak foundation. So the way you, s how you feel about your divine masculine, unless they change and unless they come correct and permanent and give you what you deserve, you're not entertaining it. I mean, of course, in your heart of hearts, you would love for them to come back because you miss them. But like I said, you're doing you now. Right, how you see them, manipulation. You see them misusing, misusing? <laughs> misusing power to get what they wanted. They knew how you felt about them. You gave them everything, your heart, body, mind and soul, everything. You were always there for them, ready to start a new life with them, but they manipulated everything. Um, so how you see them is a big manipulator. Like I said, you don't trust them anymore. And also, these are two kings, king of swords in reverse and king of pentacles in reverse. Also how you see him is he's stubborn. He's stubborn. Either he put work or his finances or stability before you, or he was back with a karmic for greed and money or to make himself comfortable or he just didn't leave because even if he is in a karmic relationship, he didn't leave because it would require change and maybe he would fall out with money. So he just 
manipulated the whole situation and done him. He done him. He didn't do you two, he did him. And this is it. And this is where you've woken up and you're like, do you know what? I'm lovable. I deserve so much more than this. And one, you start to heal. You start to love yourself. And then two, you moved on. I mean, you're still looking back because, yeah, you miss him. You would still would want him to come correct. But you're not holding your breath either. Right. So, mutual energy. Now, this is interesting. Mutual energy. Mutual energy is both of you feeling you want to come to get back together, to celebrate, to have joy, to have happiness, success and to win, progress, hope, marriage. This is the victory card. So mutual energy, you both want love and marriage. Yeah, however, <laughs> there's always a however. The star card here in reverse, there's a lot of disconnect here. There's a lot of despair here. Um, I feel both of you, because this is mutual, are feeling that there isn't much hope left in this connection. There's too much has gone on for it to be healthy or for it to move on. Um, and with a three of pentacles here in reverse, yeah, again, disharmony and working alone. Um, there was so much potential for commitment and growth, but because of his actions, not anymore. Right, his intentions. Okay, his intentions. So, there still will be delays. There still will be frustrations. Now, the guy you were dealing with was a fuckboy, a player, who just loved to entertain other women, yeah? And if it could be the other way around, if I'm reading, I'm just reading energy and I'm just going by... Um, DMs and DF. So if your DF DM was a player in the past, a fuck boy, a hoe, um, just wanted casual stuff and put you on the hold, put you on hold, um, he does want to put this right. He does want to end his player ways because he knows he's lost the love of his life. Because he knows you were his wish fulfillment. There was so much satisfaction. Um, everything that he was hoping for, dreaming, you uplifted him. You know, you were his wish fulfillment. Um, now, this is his intentions. And if he's at a distance or there's distance between you guys um, with a world card. So he, he knows you complete him. Um, and he also knows that so this is his intentions. He wants to come and travel and come and see you. It could be flights. It could be, um, you know, different cities, countries, whatever. This is his intentions. He does still want to. However, there's so much poor planning around this. He goes to, one day he wakes up and says, right, I'm going to put this right. I'm going to do right. I'm going to do this and do that. And then he doesn't. It's like he overthinks everything and then does nothing. And in the end, he, he refers back to his manipulation. Well, he goes back to his old mindset, his same behaviour and does nothing. Back to his manipulation. I mean, he could manifest everything, but this is in reverse. He's not. He's not. Even though he would love to, he still doesn't. Okay, blocks. <laughs> well, the blocks are very... Says it all for a twin flame journey. Blocks. There are arguments. Yeah. There's an end of a relationship. There's, the DF is fighting now to do the right thing, which is loving herself and being defensive, being guarded. Yeah. She, she's ready now. She's like, yeah, come, come. I'll serve you. How you treated me, come, I'm ready for you now. You've taken your rose-tinted glasses off. You're ready to fight. You're proper protecting your heart now and defensive. It's like, come, you ain't seen the other side of me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> good. <laughs> um, and with the two of swords, yeah, you're... <laughs> 
yeah, your this these are the blocks. So there's no action. Yeah, there was a dif dis difficult decision that need needs to be made. There's avoidance. There's conflict. There's op other options, but either way, it's crossroads. Protecting your heart. You're ready to, ah, oh, ready, ready, come, just come to say one thing, just one thing, you see what you get. You're ready to cut him cold, just like how he treated you. And you didn't deserve that. And maybe for years you've been, you've been, you know, dealing with this. You didn't deserve that. If he truly, truly loved you, why would he put, treat you like that? So you're ready now, like, come. Come, I'm ready for you. <laughs> um, and the blocks, well, Ace of Cups. <laughs> You're only doing this because you still love him. You still love him. But also, this also could mean that you have met someone new and you have loved somewhere else now where there's harmony um, and where you're just getting to know each other, but you know there's potential for it to get deeper. Yeah, so this is the blocks here now. You're protecting yourself when it comes to DF, but you're actually open for soulmate because I do see this on the cards. Right, outcome. Outcome, outcome, outcome. So, again, manipulative, sneaky, betrays, betrays, betrayal, lies, cheating, dishonest. Now, the outcome is he knows how he's treated, treated you. He's treated you um, very, very, very poorly. Now, I feel if he is tied to a karmic, he will have to sneak his way out from there and to, because he just doesn't want to hurt anyone. Um, so, or he knows how manipulative or, you know, that person could be. So he has to protect himself and sneakily leave yeah because he the act the outcome is action here beautiful action he's charging in now especially like i said to you before he can sense you've moved on he can sense you've met someone else he can sense you're in love now with someone else so he's charging in now um to come and meet you he's fast thinking he's not even um thinking about his fears or anything else now he's not even thinking about rejection he's thinking this is now or never now or never he knows what you mean to him he knows this is a wish fulfillment he knows he's never going to get a connection like this again so he's charging in here with the knight of swords and the knight of cups yeah he's coming in to give you one little cup of love he wants to come and sweep you off your feet. He wants to share the love, the attraction and romance you and charm you, tell you how beautiful you are. He's going to go all in now, all in. So just be careful that there isn't a man manipulation here. Yeah, don't fall for it unless he's backing it up with evidence. Words are cheap, guys. Yeah, because he is going to try it. And with the Ace of Wands here, the passion between you guys is off the charts and he knows it. So he's going to come with everything where he could have um, wooed you over before. He may still try those same tactics. So just be careful that he isn't manipulating you. But this is, the, this is an outcome card um, where he wants a new relationship. He wants to start again. He wants to be creative. He wants to travel and to come meet you. He wants growth. He wants potential. Yeah, and he wants to start something positive. Um, but definitely action. Um, and, and underneath the deck, I've got communication. And that speaks again of action, of swift change, a surprise, uh, maybe air travel, speedy. Yeah, he's going to say he's sorry. He's going to say he's sorry for 
all the delays and the indecision and the stalling, he's seen the light. He's going to tell you, you are his ten, oh dear, look at this, the ten of cups. He wants family, harmony, bliss. He wants everything with you now. He wants to make you this slow, dependable, solid offer. And look, the twin flame card here. He wants harmony, joy, celebration. He wants there to be peace between you, happy times. He misses you. And with the judgment, he, went, he wants reconciliation. With the death card, he wants a rebirth. Yeah. He wants a new beginning. A lot of choices and decisions here to be made. Guys, your advice. Let's have a look quickly for your advice. What's the divine feminine's advice? Sorry if that's too loud. What's the divine Feminine's advice. Last one. What's the advice? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so the advice is <laughs> with the King of Cups here in reverse. We know you love him. Yeah, he knows you love him. But that is the actual weakest link right there. So you need to protect that link right there, especially if there's going to be manipulation here. You. He knows already you love him. So when he comes, don't, don't operate from emotion, from feelings, from love. Operate from logic, from common sense, yeah? To protect, protecting yourself, okay? Don't express how you feel. And don't express, well, you made me feel like this and da 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 let him talk especially if he hasn't expressed if he hasn't expressed if he hasn't shared if he comes forward you sit back and do nothing wait for him now to express yeah reverse the tables okay now the advice is stay single stay single keep your options open still look good still look you know work on your money that kind of stuff um, I do see with the chariot, I do see, um, yeah, him coming forward. I do. I do see him coming forward because the divine timing here, when everything is right, when the alignment is there, I do see him coming and he's going to put right because I do see a change and I do see now the Ten of Pentacles. So he is going to come forward. He is going to offer you love and stability and everything else but all in divine timing and there is going to be a powerful change here yeah your advice is stay single let him work for you now okay do not show him how much you love he is keeping an eye on you you're keeping an eye on him but yeah expect someone from the past coming forward to give you clarity to now yeah <laughs> to now have change after all this waiting so you just stay in your stay in your power okay there could be someone else that's got your interest as well but you stay in your power like i said look, looking good doing you and let him work for you now okay messages what are the messages Any messages from the divine masculine?
Mm. Okay. So he is going to come forward, like I said to you, he's going to start love bombing you. Yeah, be careful that he's not a, a narcissist, self-absorbed. And but be careful, it's not a one-sided relationship this time. Yeah, the golden mirror. There is insane chemistry, passion between you guys. Yeah, so make sure that you like each other equally. It's not just you putting in all the work. This time round, let him do it. And you decide for how many years he has to now prove to you. But he is definitely coming because he wants to take you out on a date. Or you could be meeting someone new as well. Like I've, I've keep been seeing this. So meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there and planning and setting a date. But look underneath the deck, I do see wedding rings. I do see you getting, and with Cupid's arrow right next to it, you getting everything and look lightning. Things are going to change unexpectedly. Yeah, it just needed to take time. Um, def he definitely stabbed you in the back. But he wants to put it right. Let's have a look at these just quickly. If this resonates, guys, please like, share and subscribe. Ooh, okay, these wanted to fall up. Yeah, the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, so. Hmm. Dreams and your hard work, I would say, is coming true. And it's time to take action. 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 <laughs> Keep on seeing action everywhere. Action. When he comes and says all this to you, blah, blah, blah. You need to be like, yeah, okay, well, you know, words are words. Where's the action? Give me action. You need to see action, man. If you don't see an action, man, it's rubbish. Luck is on your side. Your hard work is paying off. A personal issue result, um, reaches resolution. What do you need to release? Carry on um, working on yourself um, and have faith in your dreams. But yeah, like I said, when it comes to him, he needs to prove it. Okay. All right, guys, if this resonated, please like, share and subscribe. And I hope you're well. Have a beautiful Sunday and God bless you all.